today we're going to make stuffed chicken leg with the apple cranberry stuffing. We're going to make sauteed chicken breast with tarragon and a wild mushroom sauce. And we're going to make chicken payag with grilled vegetables. So we're going to start with butchering the chicken. Now down on the chicken. All right, first step, remove the tip and paddle. We're going to take off the legs, cut that seam, break the joint here, scoop the knife down, and if you can follow that, that's what you want. Breaking that joint, scooping it, and making sure that we get the oyster. Okay. We're going to keep those legs aside. Right now we're going to make the French breast. Right down the middle is the sternum. We're going to follow that line. Right here we hit the wishbone. We're going to turn at the wishbone. Follow the wishbone down. And it goes clean through. got our tenderloin, a breast, the first wing joint, and that is a French breast or airline breast. Do the same thing to the other side. We go on the sternum. You should feel the bone when you're here. Then you hit the wishbone. Oops, got a little bit of trouble. Follow the wishbone down. It goes right to that joint and you go right through. If you meet resistance, that means you're hitting a bone and you need to go just adjust your di direction a little bit. That is one chicken. This is all scraps. We're going to do one more. Same process. Tip and paddle off. Break the joint. Right here you can see this is where the oyster is. You're scooping down and keeping your knife pressure on the hip boom, and that's what you want. We're going to do the same exact process down the sternum, hit the wishbone right here, follow the wishbone down, bit different than the eight way we did last week. Scraps for stock. Okay, for our cutlet, we're going to remove that bone, remove the skin. that tenderloin we open that up and you want it to be about the same thickness so when you're looking at the chicken cutlet this is the thickness I want so when I'm here all I'm doing is cutting that in half so what you have is a chicken cutlet that is even in thickness throughout the cutlet so again the skin the wing comes off Turn it on its underside. You open up the tenderloin. And that will be our paillard. So I got our chicken paillard. We've got our chicken French breast. Now we need to bone the legs out. Follow that thigh bone. And I'm just with the very tip of my knife. I'm working down both sides. I don't want to pierce through, so I want to be careful that I'm taking just the bone. 
Okay, so you can see that's what I took out so far. Now, the chicken drumstick, the chicken leg, you got a large area here with a lot of cartilage, so I'm just carefully going down. So now I'm past that joint and I am just taking my knife and going right on the bone all the way around in a circular motion. And I'll be back in one second. Okay, I'm back. Now, we've got, our, we've got our chicken bone, we've got our thigh bone, and we're down on the drumstick now. Right here, I'm just gonna chop this off. And it helps to have the right knife. Now, now that that's off, I'm holding the meat like this. I'm squeezing it in all directions. I've got a tight grip on it. I'm just going to turn and pull. So that's what you should be left with. And this is the chicken leg that is going to be stuffed. That's it. Alright, let me do these. Give me about five minutes and I'll set up a new stuffing over there. Okay, we're going to make our apple cranberry stuffing. So what we've got here is our aromatics our broth and our binder. We're gonna saute in butter, celery, apples, and shallots. The apples are cut quarter inch dice, celery's cut quarter inch dice, and the shallots. So we're gonna start that off. We're going to saute this until the vegetables are sweated and softened. We are not going to brown it. Take a, probably about three or four minutes. We'll be back then. Okay, we're back. Our vegetables are lightly browned, they're sweated. We're gonna add fresh sage at this point. Put that a little bit more, just to get that sage flavor into the fat. It'll permeate the stuffing a little bit better. Right now, just gonna add chicken broth. And our cranberries. At this point, I just want to bring this up to a boil. That's it. It's done. Then we tighten it with panko bread sauce, and that will be our apple cranberry stuffing. Okay, we're off the flame. And all I'm going to do is just tighten that liquid with panko bread crumbs. You can use any type of breading, cornbread, uh, seasoned, seasoned bread, but I'm just, for simplicity, I'm using just plain panko bread crumbs. And I'm adding just enough to make it a stuffing consistency. I know you can't smell it, but I can really smell that sage. That's what you want. Okay, we're back. Right now, I've got my four stuff, my legs, and you can see on this side how it still resembles a leg. And the idea is I want to set that stuffing in. I want to push it up into the drumstick area, and then I just want to make a 
small area there. And with this fat, and that will be the stuff like. I'm gonna do that for, for the other three, exactly the same. At the same time, I'm gonna take our chicken cutlets. I'm gonna marinate them for at least 30 minutes. Real simple marinade. Fresh lemon juice. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Olive oil. And fresh oregano. Fresh oregano's got a really beautiful, unique, this is such a classic marinade, and it's so simple. So our chickens are going to marinate like this for about 30 minutes just to get that flavor, and we're gonna grill them, and we're gonna have the other chickens stuffed and into the oven. Okay, our chicken is marinated. We just wanna season up these vegetables, get them ready for grilling. Just olive oil. That's it. Just gonna mix that up. And this is ready for the grill. Okay, our mise en place. We have our airline breasts. We're all set. We have shiitake mushrooms, shallots, white wine, tarragon, whole butter, and demi-glace. Our first step, our pan is getting hot. I'm gonna season the chickens lightly on both sides. And we are going to saute this. I want to do presentation side down. Skin will be served up from cooking that first. Okay, we'll come back shortly when this is browned on both sides. Okay, our chicken is sautéing. You see that it's loose. That's because we started with a hot pan. This chicken's a bit on the thicker side. So what I want to do, once I get the desired brownness, what I want to do at this point, I'm going to finish it in the oven. We could finish it on the stove. It'd be a medium, medium-low flame. Uh, it's just going to be easier if we finish it in the oven. We'll come back, we'll come down to the oven, and we'll make our sauce. Okay, we're getting ready to just grill our vegetables in paillard. Our grill is clean. We just want to make sure we prepare a non-stick surface by rubbing a paper towel with a little bit of oil. And our grill is ready. It's been 30 minutes. That chicken should have a great flavor. Chickens are done. We are brown and crisp on both sides. We have temp the chicken. When you temp the chicken, you want to put your thermometer right into the thickest part. And we are 
don't show it because it might not be done. <laughs> I'm going to take these out of the pan. Remember the difference between sautéing and braising. You want that crispness to survive the cooking process. Vegetables have softened. What we want here, this is called the fond. This is what we want to degrease, deglaze. I don't want it to burn, so the meat flame has been on medium. I'm going to deglaze with white wine. And then I want to scrape the pan and get all that fond, incorporate that into the sauce. And you can see how it's turned the white wine to a nice rich brown color and that's just from the food debris that's left on the pan. I'm going to add fresh tarragon at this point. And I want that wine to get nice and syrupy. You can see how it's almost evaporated already. And you can start to see the consistency of that wine as it gets thicker and thicker. And that's what you want. You want the essence of that wine flavor. Just when it's almost, see how, see how thick that's got? It's like coating the mushrooms. Now I'm going to add a pair of demi gloss. Process known as Monte Ober, and we're just going to swirl in some whole butter. And you can see how that will change the sauce to a shade lighter in the brown, and then we are done. You want to maintain the crispness that you achieve during saute, so right now I'm ready for plating. Okay, our chicken paillade and grilled vegetables is ready. Uh, it's just browned and it's served like that. And what could be cleaner and simpler than just a grilled piece of chicken and grilled vegetables? Beautiful. The next one, chicken saute with tarragon and wild mushrooms. And you can see we've, we've kept the crispness of the skin. Our sauce is on the front. We just paired it with some rice and some mixed vegetable and the general applications and rules of saute, pretty easy to follow. Okay, this is our stuffed chicken leg with apple cranberry stuffing. And you can see how it sort of resembles a chicken leg. It came back to shape. Beautiful dish. And what a great way to serve chicken. That's all. See you guys next week.